Hello, my name is Adam Powers. I am a senior product manager with the Aruba Edge Connect team. Today, we'll be talking about a new SD-WAN technology called AppExpress. Now, the fundamentally important aspect of SD-WAN technologies is connecting users, this little guy over here, with critical enterprise applications. In this example, we've got a user. He's located behind his Edge Connect router. And that guy wants to connect to an SAP server out on the internet. We have three different ways that that user can connect to the SAP server. Now, what we do with SD-WAN technologies is we provide path diversity. Now, path diversity comes in the form of, in this case, three different internet connection types. We've got a low Earth orbit internet connection, probably a Starlink, or in the future, a Kuiper AWS-based uh, connection. We've got a 5G connection. This is probably a T-Mobile home modem that's been deployed to the branch office. And then finally, we have our more traditional underlay type or a more traditional internet service provider in the form of a cable modem. This could also be an optical internet connection. The main idea here is that we provide multiple internet connections to the SD-WAN device, and then it figures out through a variety of different mechanisms which one of these internet connections provides the best connection to the SAP server. Now, let's talk about how it does that. So AppExpress, the way it operates, is before the user even connects to the SAP server, the Edge Connect will poll ahead. It will start synthetically polling across each one of these connections to the SAP server. So it will, every 10 seconds, it will poll across the low Earth orbit connection to SAP. It will poll across the 5G connection to the SAP server, and it will begin polling across your cable modem. You can have up to 16 different service providers that are supported by the Edge Connect SD-WAN appliance. Each one of these polling paths will carry a score. So the Edge Connect uses a mechanism called AppDex to calculate a number for each one of these lines, each one of these paths from the branch office to the SAP server. That score will come in the form of a number between zero and 100. The higher the number is, the better the connection quality. So let's take this example here. The Edge Connect begins synthetically polling across the, the Starlink connection or the Leo connection, and maybe it scores out at a 75, which is decent, but not great. The 5G connection, maybe we're right underneath the tower, very close to the 5G tower itself, so we score out maybe a 92. But for our cable modem, we've got low latency. It's a DOCSIS 3 connection. It's very solid. We have a 99. Now, what the Edge Connect will do is it will look at which one of these paths has the best AppDeck score. When the user wants to connect to the SAP server, it will pick the path with the highest AppDeck score. So in this example, it would pick the cable modem. Now, this is called local breakout because we are breaking out locally. When the user connects to the SAP application, we will go straight to the internet through the LEO or 5G or cable modem directly to the SAP application. Now, once the user starts connecting to the SAP app, we start watching the connections from the user to the SAP server. We observe the actual connections on the wire and we score those connections. So we say, the ping score was 99, but when the user connects to the SAP server with a real connection, we score that as well, and maybe that gets us also a 99. Now we have a ping score of 99, and we watch and observe the user's experience to the SAP server, and we see that, yep, the user is also getting a score of 99, so the cable modem is the best path to send the user across if they want to get to the SAP server. This process occurs every five minutes. We recalculate and figure out, hey, is the cable modem still the best path to SAP? If the cable modem goes down or if there's a problem, the Edge Connect will use the next highest AppDeck score to decide how to route the user to the SAP server. So that's for local breakout. But there are two other transport types or two other um, pathways that we could send the user through to get to the SAP server. Let's talk about this one at the top, backhaul, or protected first mile, or 
ruggedized first mile. The idea is each one of these modems, each one of these internet service providers, we will form a tunnel to an edge connect located in AWS or Azure or GCP or Oracle. The edge connect can be deployed into any one of the uh, popular internet um, infrastructure as a service providers. So we will create tunnels from the edge connect across each one of these internet providers to each one of our AWS edge connects. We have one edge connect on the East Coast, we have one edge connect on the West Coast. So it will score these connections. It will figure out, is it easier and faster to go across AWS from the West to get to SAP? Or is it easier and faster? Is it better, do we get a better AppDeck score when we go through the East Coast to get to SAP? So the Edge Connect is using this AppDeck scoring mechanism to figure out which way to backhaul the traffic. If I wanna to get to my SAP server, do I backhaul through the West Coast or do I backhaul through the East Coast? So this mechanism here um, occurs continuously. The system figures out which one of these three connections to AWS is, is the best path, and then it scores and compares East versus West. All right, so the third type of transport we're gonna talk about here are SSE on-ramp. In the SSE on-ramp situation, the Edge Connect will form tunnels to the SSE provider. This is a secure services edge provider. The SSE will have POPs in different cities. The Edge Connect forms a IPsec or a GRE tunnel to the two closest POPs for that SSE provider. There are different SSEs. There's Zscaler, Netscope. Aruba re recently acquired a company called Access Security, so we now have our own SSE provider. Regardless of which SSE provider you select, the Edge Connect will form tunnels to the two closest SSE, uh, let's just use cable, it will form tunnels to the two closest SSE POPs, the two closest cities. It will then score the connection from each one of your internet providers across each of these SSE city POP locations to the SAP application. So in this way, the Edge Connect is dynamically routing, dynamically discovering which SSE POP provides the best performance for a specific application. So as you can see, there are a lot of different paths available to get the user to the SAP application. AppExpress helps dynamically and continuously figure out which path provides the best quality of experience for the user. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit our website.